If you have not subscribed yet, please click that little icon in the bottom corner. Please like this video because it shows the support towards my channel. Thank you for all the support so far in this channel. I really do appreciate it and enjoy the next video. So with this nice little midfield pocket drill, um, I just want to say thanks to Luke Hansford from London. He was the one that designed this drill and I just looked through it and it looks really good, um, specifically if you want to teach your players um, how to get out of that midfield uh, pocket and to go forward. And then also teach your players, if you're in a defensive position in that regards, how to maintain and put pressure on the right way and how to work back if you um, are in that scenario of the midfield pocket. So you will set it up as you can see on the screen. Your biggest thing that you need to tell your your players, especially if you the attacking side and your receiver, uh, the person that runs into this little box, your first touch under pressure has to be you need to try and work on that so that it's easier to either go left or right. Um, your body position needs to be in a way where as soon as you receive it, it makes it easier to pass left or right as well. And then in a defensive area, you need to, as defenders, you need to start making decisions of when to go for a tackle, when to stay, when to put pressure on, when to channel, um, so all of these aspects you're going to try and learn in this little drill as well but for this specific how it will start is there's balls on either side so um, as soon as the player goes in you can start on the left hand side if the ball goes to the left hand side you need to pass the ball out to the left hand side if the ball comes from the right hand side you need to try and pass it to the outside on the right but how it will work is player one will move into the area defender number one can put some pressure on that specific player let's say we'll go to the left so uh, defender number two is going to pass the ball to player number one inside as soon as that happens the person the, the defender that's on this side is part of the 5v4 so after this happens and they pass the ball this over here will become a five attackers versus four defenders. So as soon as you're not the person that's passing the ball to the guy in the middle, you will become the defender working back um, when this ball goes in. So player number one, receive the ball. First touch really important and body position important. And then your pass is going to be to player number two. As soon as that pass goes, defender number two, you can start working back. Player number one over here can start working back towards the goal. And then defender number one can work back towards the goal. As soon as the ball goes that way, the player number five, you are part of the attack as well to make it a 5v4 towards the circle. And in this regard, you can now ask player number three to make nice leads. Player number four can maybe make a lead into that space. Player number one is going to see player four is going to make that lead so you maybe do a, a different type of lead but over here it's your player's discretion they can decide where they want to go as long as the attackers know that the important part is to try and get outcomes into the circle move the ball as quick as possible because when you do a really good first touch and your body position is really good you can actually create a counter attack it's exactly a 5v4 and you want to try and pass the ball as quick as possible and not just run with the ball to give the defenders a chance to come back. And then <clears throat> as you go, you just play it out and see what happens. If it's a short corner, you can if you want to just play as a short corner or if it's a goal to goal and then you just start over. If you went the left hand side, you just try and do the right hand side just so that you can have different angles in trying to do this pocket.